Welcome to Daily News Updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight Market Scenario by Segal Sea Trade On April 19th, the Asia Pacific Panamax market was a mixed bag. The Asia Pacific Supermax market freight rates were hiked. The Cape size freight rates were little changed. The Pacific Handy size market freight rates trended higher. Before we proceed with the rest of the updates, I would like to announce that the 10th Asia Dribal Cargo Summit is here and will be attended by all the stakeholders of the dribal cargo industry from India and all across the world. Make sure to register today. Russia's Ateco to reject offer for Black Sea coal transshipment terminal. Ateco, a Russian port infrastructure provider, will reject a proposal offer from logistics group Delo for its Taman transshipment terminal in the Black Sea. The company told Reuters on Friday, "Many assets in Russia have changed hands in the last two years, and scores of foreign companies left Russia following its invasion of Ukraine that began in February 2022. An asset transfer is also taking place domestically as state-owned and private companies take advantage of the changing business landscape. Arrival of larger ships at Chhatogram port speeds up cargo delivery, cuts transit time and cost." The number of containers and cargoes being handled at Chhatogram port, the country's primary seaport, has surged in recent times, improving its trade efficiency despite a decrease in the number of ship arrivals. Stakeholders have attributed this growth to relatively larger ships now being able to dock at the port's jetty with more containers and goods on board, improving trade efficiency. According to the port's data, in the 9 months from July to March of fiscal year 2023 to 24, 3001 commercial ships from various countries docked at the port. The figure is a slight decline from 3231 ships that arrived during the same period in the previous financial year, marking a decrease of 7.12% in ship arrivals. Exporters suffer as Houthi attacks make vessel cover costlier. Exporters in India are grappling with the surge in costs due to Houthi attacks on shipping in Red Sea, which has led to a sharp increase in cargo insurance premiums. Some products have seen increase as high as 500%, while the average insurance premium is now 60% higher. Reasons for increase in heightened risks in the region prompting insurers to raise premiums for vessel insurance. Consequently, Indian exporters, particularly those in Gujarat dealing in chemicals, textiles, pharmaceuticals, and engineering goods, are experiencing a significant financial strain. Iran-Israel conflict, Strait of Hormuz blockade could trigger oil and LNG price surge. Analysts warn. Moti Lal Oswal, financial services, suggested in a note that any complete or partial blockade of the Strait of Hormuz by Iran could trigger significant spikes in oil and LNG prices. Analysts have warned that if Iran were to block the Strait of Hormuz, a vital passage for countries like India to import crude oil from Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and the UAE, both oil and LNG prices could soar, potentially leading to inflation spikes. The conflict between Iran and Israel has intensified in recent days, marked by Iran's drone and rocket attacks on Israel, which prompted retaliatory missile strikes. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already. And make sure to register for Drycon 2024 today.